Holy shit, it's working. Okay. Jeez. So, I thought my Go I think my GoPro is pretty busted. I somehow managed to get my GoPro to hook up to my phone because my butt I noticed when I was doing my hike vlog thing in Hawaii, uh, I had to take the battery out every time I turned it off. Like if I turned it off, it wouldn't turn back on. I took the battery out, put it back in, and then it would turn back on. And it would do that every time. Um, now the top button, I I can't even show you. Maybe uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, the top button to actually hit the record button does not work. So I smashed the thing against the wall because I got pissed off at it. And when things don't work, I either throw them, punch them, smash them, kick them, and see if they work. Well, I smashed this against the wall. I didn't throw it, but I just took it with my hand. I didn't like try to break it. I just, you know, hit it a little couple times to see if it would work. And the Wi-Fi thing turned on by doing that. I don't know how, but the Wi-Fi turned on, so I was able to connect it to my phone and updated it. I thought maybe that would fix it. Firmware updated. Nope, top button does not work at all. But, as you can see, I, uh... Why do I always say, as you can see? I, I, I noticed that. I gotta stop saying that shit. Um, I don't know, it's working now. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do a vlog, see if I can get this done today. Um, today, I just got done making my breakfast. I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold. I've got my oatmeal fresh out of the microwave. And I've got this stupid thing going on. Um, I'll tell you in a second. With my oatmeal, what I like to do, so this is just turkey bacon, four plain scrambled whole eggs, and I just use a little olive oil spray. I've got a half cup of oats here. And what I do with my oatmeal, because I don't put like sugar or anything in it to sweeten it, I usually would just eat it plain. Um, I found that uh, I've got this Quest strawberry and cream protein powder. And I, just, I don't put like a whole scoop in there because it's just too much, but I put like maybe a half a scoop and put some water in it, stir it up, microwave it for a minute and 10 seconds, and it tastes awesome actually. I don't know if I've got enough water in it this time, but it's a little sticky, but it tastes like strawberries and cream. Oatmeal. I got this dumb thing going on because I have this AC unit over here. By the way, I got new blinds. I got these custom ordered blinds set up. Makes the place a lot, lot brighter. So I've got this AC unit. And when the compressor's on and it's blowing cold air, if I turn the microwave on because it's on the same circuit, it blows the circuit breaker. And all the power goes out to like everything over here. TV, AC, lights, fish tank, microwave. I don't know why that, I guess that outlet is I guess it's on the same wall, so I guess that makes sense. But I guess this whole area over here is on the same circuit. And this stupid little thing here will always just pop and I have to flip it back on. So whenever I use my microwave now, because it's so hot right now in, in Los Angeles, I have to make sure the AC is not on the compressor mode. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to do, I'm gonna try to do another amp video today. I wanna show you guys um, so I, I've done a couple amp videos. I did my Mr. Hector, um, by the way, sorry, this vlog's very ADD. Um, my electronic drum kit is no longer here. I did not get rid of it. It's just up there. Um, I just need more space. I don't have enough room, so I'm not using it at the moment. I don't need it right now. So I decided to tear it down, put it away, store it. And when I need to use it again, I'll just pull it out and take it. I've got two dog beds here because I got this cheap little $10 one at Rite Aid, which Trixie seems to love it. Ernie likes it too. Um, they kind of battle over the bed. They don't fight each other, but Trixie will be in it and, and Ernie will just sit here and stare at her and just kind of, he'll just grunt, whine, and just get very jealous. So I got him another bed. Now they can both be happy. So yesterday we did the, um, we shot a video for my angle Richie Blackmore signature 100 and I was actually gonna sell this amp uh, just because I simply wasn't using it not because I don't like it I just wasn't using it and I was like eh I mean I've got a lot of amps here as you can see I've got let me plug 
the speaker cable. I've got my JVM 6505 Lavagama Tractor. I've got a Mesa Boogie Road King down there. I've got the Angle Richie Blackmore. I've got the DB Mark 666. I got the Marshall G100R 6534. I've got another 6505 out there. I've got Mesa cabs. I've got more stuff over here. I got my Marshall cab. Um, so I started, I've got all these amps and I was like, you know what, I need to do some demos of these things. And uh, so I just put that one up yet uh, last night. So I think one what I'm gonna do today is the Marshall G100R. Uh, this is a, they make versions of this, but um, like newer versions of it, but this is the old one. This is the, the gain actually goes to 20, which is insane. Um, so I actually got this amp, it's a solid state amp. I got it for a hundred bucks on Craigslist. They're, they're super cheap, you know, they're like the, the bottom of the barrel Marshall amps. But I think this is the most underrated metal amp, dude. Holy crap. Let me tell you what, it might be cheap. It might be solid state. There's no tubes in it, but I'm going to make a video today. I'm going to show you what this guy, what guys, uh, bleh. I'm going to show you guys what this thing sounds like. Um, I plan to do videos for all these amps. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get my YouTube channel rolling again, uh, actually doing a vlog. Uh, I did my, I'm, I'm back on P90X3. This battery's gonna die. I don't even know if this GoPro's gonna work much longer. I'm in week three of the P90X3 again. Um, I decided to go back to doing this. I'm not doing heavy weight lifting right now because I just simply don't have time with producing the Thrown Into Exile record. Um, I need my workouts to be quick. I, I still need to get it done, but with P90X3, it's half an hour workouts. It's really, really intense, obviously. You know, uh, if you guys have watched any of my old videos, um, it's a very intense program. It's not easy, but the thing I like about it is you get it done quick. It's a half an hour of brutality and then you're done. And I'm in week three now, so it's, you know, the first week I was, everything was sore, my whole body hurt. Um, I did week two, now I'm in week three, halfway through week three. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm eating pretty, pretty damn clean for the most part. So anyway, the other part, Wi-Fi connection lost. Well, I'm still recording. Please still record. Okay. My battery's going to die on this thing. Hopefully this thing will work. But anyway, I'm going to eat my food before it gets cold. And then the next part of this video is... I don't know if it's gonna really be a recipe, but uh, I'm I'm on this whole making homemade Chipotle burrito bowls. Now, I'm doing the healthy version of it because yes, Chipotle is actually pretty healthy, but there are some non-healthy things there that you can get like a bunch of cheese, uh, sour cream, that kind of stuff is not good for you. Um, the carnitas, I don't think is very good for you because I believe, I mean, I don't know how Chipotle prepares it, but usually carnitas is cooked in a lot of uh, fat, so. Um, that's how you get all that flavor. You, so I, I stay away from that. Um, but I love the barbacoa and surprisingly barbacoa is actually, it's, it's pretty lean and it's, uh, actually the healthiest protein option at Chipotle. It's even, uh, lower fat than the chicken because the chicken, chicken's good for you too, but Chipotle uses, um, I think it's chicken thigh. So it's a little bit more tender and juicy than just say chicken breast. It gets, it's very easy to make dry. Um, so today I'm going to get the old slow cooker, the crock pot. I got my, um, my, uh, chuck roast here. I got, I found a pretty nice one last night. Uh, there's just a couple big pieces of fat. I'm going to cut out of it and get rid of that. And we're going to chop it up. We're going to sear it in a pan real quick. We're going to stick it in the slow cooker and I'm going to make a, a barbacoa sauce for it, uh, in my Vitamix which is going to consist of a little bit of beef, beef, bleh, beef, I did say that right, beef broth. We got some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, some crushed black pepper. We got some bay leaves to throw in there, some oregano. I'm going to have to crush up some cloves. Uh, what else goes in this? We got apple cider vinegar. We got uh, ground cumin. Where is that at? I got that up here. Got the cumin and uh, a little bit of salt. Got the pink Himalayan salt. Um, what else goes in it? What else goes in it? I know there's something else. There's the apple cider vinegar. 
Maybe that's it. Is that all of it? Maybe that's it. I think that's it. I think that's all, everything that goes into it. So I'm gonna cook that up, get that going today, and then I'm in my studio working on the Thrown Into Exile record. Uh, that is coming along. Hopefully I'll have time to shoot that video of the Marshall G100R because I want to show you guys a video of, you know, not everybody can, you know, get a hold, it, it, it was, not everybody can get a hold of the, a G100R CD. Um, I was lucky enough I found one on Craigslist because people don't understand that they're actually rad amps. Uh, they're, they're super cheap, they're old, you know, they don't make them anymore. But I found one, I paid a hundred dollars for this thing. Now, the trick is, not using the guitar cabinet that it's, it's supposed to come with, because it comes with like the low grade guitar cabinet. It doesn't have good speakers in it. But say you, I, I plugged that Marshall into my, uh, the the Marshall vintage cab I have that has Slush and Vintage 30s in it. I mean, it's gonna sound good. Uh, the speaker is such a huge factor, guys. Uh, anybody who plays guitar, you might have a great amp, a great tube boutique amp, but if you have shitty, speakers and a crappy guitar cab it's not gonna sound good uh, you got to have both parts and um, and it goes for the guitar as well you got to have a good guitar you have to have fresh strings you have to have um, you know good pickups if you have junky crappy pickups it's not gonna sound good um, and again uh, one thing I, I want to make a demonstration video of how much of the actual tone comes from your hand the player's hand um, because Every player is different, and every player, no matter what, if you're using the exact same setup, um, I could play a riff, and then I could have the next guy play a riff. I guarantee you 100% it will sound different. Um, it will sound different. So I might do a video of that, uh, get somebody over, have a guest in one of my videos, and do a demonstration just of how much of the tone comes from the hands player. Anyway, I gotta eat my breakfast. It's getting cold. Then we're gonna click over to making this whole Chipotle deal. See, I can't even stop the video now. I'm trying. I'm pressing the button. Great. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're gonna go till this dies. Yes, wireless is on. Oh crap! Now this is disconnected. I'm screwed. I guess I have to take the battery out to stop this thing now. This is annoying. Look at this. I'm recording, but I can't stop it. I'm hitting the button, but nothing, it's just still going. Yeah, wireless is on, dude. Did this thing disconnect from it? Trixie, what's going on, girl? No, I didn't drop anything on the floor. No food on the floor, girl. Okay, it disconnected me from the GoPro. I'm back on, okay, let's try to get back on the network. GoPro, still recording. Sorry, guys, this is probably boring. What's up, Trixie? You want to say hello? Hello. There's the up close Trixie nose shot. All right, let's see if this thing will work. Got to find my GoPro app again. Oh, this That's so annoying. That's so frustrating when you get a cool product. You know, I've had this GoPro. It's the Hero 4 Black. It was like a $500 camera. And all of a sudden, it just the thing stops working properly. It's just all messed up. So that's really frustrating. Searching for device. I'm still recording. I'm, I'm just trying to turn this off. Starting preview. Here we go. Okay, now I got it back. See, if I have to go through all this to record, that's really dumb and annoying. I'm going to have to figure something else out. Throw this GoPro in the trash. Unless one of you guys want it. I'll sell it to you for like five bucks or something. Alright, here we go. Chipotle time. <laughs> 